So the first thing I like to do with these taps is push your fitting on, yeah? Because it's all right judging it, but you judge it wrong and then you're short, aren't you? Or you're too long. So you just push your fitting on, mark it, then you can measure that gap. Then measure that gap from there, cut it off, and when you put your round ring on, that sits inside your round ring. That's gonna sit flat to the wall. That's gonna be uh, have a bracket in it, and it's flush, nice and tight. That's what you want. So I've marked that one. I put the topping on because the topping's different, right? And mark the topping. Now the topping, as you can see, the length is different. So if you would have started with that and tested it that with that one, and then cut all them to the same size, you would have been at other size. But if you would have cut them to the same size, you would have been short on that one. So always test everything. Don't take cut for granted. So we know that's their two cuts, that's one cut. So that's top, that's bottom. Beautiful. We'll cut it, get it on now. Struggle getting three pipes into this. That, in theory, should slot the back of there. Which it does. Just make sure everything lines up. So now I know that most probably could do with A bit of a cat stance. Oh yeah, look at that. Like a wild sea machine. So we know that's exact. So now all we have to do is mark it. Don't think these are easy because they're not, these are solid to do these. Three pipes, one going into all. So don't get people don't get bright ideas and start buying these shells because they're not very easy. Especially if you try and do it yourself, because you'll struggle. Even I just struggle to get them on, and I'm good. Do you know what I mean? So I drop that down. So we know it's all going to fit, so now we're going to take it off. Screw it up. That'll be a joy in itself. I've had a heating on to warm my gear up. Straight up. Broke out in a sweat. See what I mean? How tricky it is just to get it off. It's better, better. That's it. That's why it's important to clean that pipe work. And then we'll get a drill bit. The bathroom. These are the best towel bits you'll ever get, in my opinion. Okay, porcelain towel. Keep it wet. Oh, it's like a dream. I can't show you any easier than that. Keep it wet. You gotta weigh up what you want in life. You either want to be drilling a porcelain tile for an hour, or I've just done two. Two in what? 40 seconds. I'm gonna do three in. Three in a minute. Oh, it's 
like a dream. Just like a dream. This is one bit. And you only can get these towel bits from me. So if you think you can get them from somewhere else, think again. And I keep them cheap, 15 pound a pack. Pack of 10. Getting a bit blunt this now. But look at that. Four rolls, less than two minutes, porcelain tiles. Mish bash mosh, MJC, six mil bits. So I'm just cleaning my pipes again. Just to make sure that they're all nice and clean. And then what I'm doing now these are the brackets, yeah? Which go on so like so. So what we have to do first, you can put them there. And you get the old silicone out. Have you seen how I push these holes in? So the plugs aren't sticking out, they're just nipping just on the other side of the tile. And then what you need to do, we don't need a silicone in this bracket on because we've bought it. But what you do need to do, you have plenty of silicone in them holes. Plenty. And I mean plenty. Clear silicone. This is the best silicone I use. This stuff. It's really, really good. You know what I mean? Make sure you get plenty on. Make sure every gap sealed. And then, what you want to do is seal every hole what you just drilled. Like so. Can you see that? Right, and then once you've done that, we have to get these on. So, don't, you don't want to try to get loads of silicone all over. Put that roughly in the centre of where we want to go. That one, roughly in the centre where we want to go. And that one. In the centre where we want to go. And before I put the shower on, I'm just going to clean them all up. This is that bucket there. Clean them all up like so. Don't keep wiping it over. Clean it off now, it's easier. You could use less silicone, but you don't have to do you? We'll get plenty on. And you don't want to be taking chances.
like so and move them to the centre then we're ready for Uno Shower through the olives in so they're not bored and you're not scratching them as they're going now you could put these on now this one where's my olive here's my olive See how that one escaped? See how that one's knackered? Don't try putting that back on. It's not worth it. Squash it. Throw it. Go get another olive. Ice brass olive. Make sure everything's in. That's the last thing you want to be doing is fitting a shower and then taking it off. Get it on. Proving a bit, a bit wiser than what I thought. That's a bit too tight. Move them bracket so it all slots in. Then make sure that goes in there like so. Can use a flat screwdriver. Flat screwdrivers, manual screwdrivers are like Satan to me. Do you know what I mean? My tools are my right arm. I don't even know why they use flat screwdrivers anymore. that baby in there get my bit back in on my drill It. See how it just goes, make sure it's in there, make sure it's in there. Then, now I'll swap to a flat screwdriver on some made choyos. 
See this shower? The shower won't push any closer to the wall until you start tightening the bolts. You need to tighten the bolts a bit, and then it'll push in. We're only going a couple of mil at a time. That's it, pull that gap up nice. Pull that up nice. Beautiful. Now we know it's equal then, you can't get your nail in it. Pull it up, yeah? Then go ahead and tighten your bolts. Because now we know that the shower's at the right point. Because these are uh, decent ollies. You don't have to tighten it too much. Never ever use grips, ever. There we go. There we go. Look back there. Work of art. Now, see that silicone what's squashed out? I just clean all that off. And that's it, job done. Shower on. Shower on. Beautiful. You drill the holes. And if you're lucky enough to have bought the Bishwash Bosch MJC towel bit to make it easier, make sure you always silicone the holes. There's already red plugs in there. Make sure you get a nice dab of silicone over the hole before you do anything. Now some of these shower screens tell you to silicone the post all the way down back of it. I don't silicone the post because they've been about that long. And when you come to change them in five, ten years time, you can't get the post off. So what I do is I silicone the holes, screw the post on, and then I'll silicone down it, and when I come to change it, I just cut it and take it off. Because they don't last forever. Do you know what I mean? These cubicles don't last forever. That little tray is spotless, no marks in it. Beautiful. Then, lift the screen up, clean it with your foot, make sure there's no bits on it. Always slide it in one side first. Keep it off the tray, because you don't want to scratch it. Slot it in like so. Beautiful. That's it. Then what you want to do, get your level, old level, on the top of it. Yeah? And then what you should be seeing is, see that? Bang level. Bang level. So sometimes it just wants a little tweak at top. To make sure that this panel's level. So then just check the top again. Level, yeah. Level. And then what I do is turn back on. Turn me back on and drill it. Make sure you turn your back 
fuck up, buddy. You just get all the metal fibers all over. Get your screw in it. Use a posi if you're not used to one of these. Don't, don't screw it too tight, I've had you split it. Do that exactly the same all over. So it's all them metal fibers getting in your silicone. Beautiful. Right. Now, I, I fit a lot of shower cubicles in my tan, but this this thing, it's not a glass in that thick. It's only a slim one. This will be a very reasonable for price cubicle. And I fit really expensive cubicles, and I fit really cheap cubicles, and I fit in between cu cubicles. And this thing, it's lovely. I tell you what, it's one of the best I've seen there. Like that. Some right force there. Beautiful. It runs like a dream. Runs like a Formula One mix. Do you know what I mean? There's some cubicles which are, which are a couple of grand and they're crap. 